Welcome. The following is a brief demonstration on how to record a WAVE audio file from a personal computer into an ELK 120 using the ELK 129. Although not required, it is easier to download WAVEs to your ELK 120 at your desk before field installation. Let's get started. Plug your computer's speakers into the audio out jack on the ELK 129. Plug the 6 foot shielded cable from the computer's speaker output to the audio in jack on the ELK 129. Connect an 8 ohm 15 watt minimum speaker to the speaker terminals on the ELK 120. Adjust the ELK 120's volume control to a minimum level. Move JP1 to the PRG mode and make sure JP2 is set to RPT on the ELK 120. Plug the ribbon cable to J1 on the ELK 129. Plug the other end of the cable to J1 on the ELK 120. Connect a 12 volt 20VA minimum AC step down transformer to the AC terminals on the ELK 129 located under the cover. Then plug the transformer into an AC receptacle. To confirm the power connection to the ELK 129, move the SW1 power switch to CH1 and look for the power LED on. Now move dip switch number 1 on the ELK 120 to the on position. Warning. Adjust Warning. the ELK 120's volume control until you hear the default channel 1 message playing. The authorities have been notified. If channel 1 has been erased, you may not hear anything. Once you have confirmed that the ELK 120 and the ELK 129 are properly connected, you are ready to begin the wave downloading process. You may now turn dip switch number 1 to the off position. Your WAVE audio files and the WAVE loader software, which is included on the CD-ROM, should be installed on a Windows-based personal computer with a stereo speaker output jack. WAVE loader will trigger the ELK 120's record mode and then download a WAVE file into the ELK 120 when the send button is pressed. After WAVE loader installation, adjust your computer's volume to the halfway mark. You can normally double click the small speaker icon in the taskbar to adjust the volume. Double click the wave loader icon on your desktop screen, then click on the file button. In the open window, click on the channel 1 wave file, then click open. Use play to preview the wave file and use send to download the wave file. A channel must be playing to accept a new recording. Move dip switch number 1 to the on position to play channel 1. Channel 1's message should start playing. Warning. In wave loader, Warning. click on the send you button to start sending channel 1 wave. You should hear your file playing from the computer Warning. speakers. You if the computer's volume level is high system. enough, the record the LED on the ELK 120 should come on solid, indicating the message is being recorded. The ELK 120 will play back the message just recorded. Warning. Warning. If you the record LED does not come on solid while WaveLoader is sending the file, increase your computer's volume output and press send again. If your volume is already set to the maximum, be sure you're using the computer speaker output jack instead of a line output jack. If the record LED still doesn't come on, Try manually pressing the ELK 120's record switch and click on play at the same time. If this works, you may have to use this manual method when programming. If the ELK 120's message sounds distorted during playback, try reducing your computer's volume control and press send again. To reduce distortion, use the lowest volume setting that will turn the record LED on solid while recording. When you have successfully programmed the message for channel 1, you may proceed to program channel 2 by turning dip switch number 1 to the off position, then turning dip switch number 2 to the on position, then load the channel 2 wave or any other wave file into wave loader and press send. 
This concludes our demonstration. Please refer to the ELK 120 and ELK 129 instruction manuals for further information. Thank you.